Hey bosses, it's Nina, and today is all about how to schedule hundreds of Pinterest pins in just a few minutes. This video is video two in my series on Pinterest marketing for business. Coming up, you'll also see videos on how to create covers for your boards, how to create evergreen content, and really just how to manage your Pinterest. But let's get into the video for today. Now, first i've been organizing my pinterest boards i had over 300 boards i went through and merged some created some um sub sections within my groups and things like that and just really cleaned it up if you want to know how to clean up your pinterest or organize it go ahead and click the link below um, i have a video that i released earlier this week on how to do that so let's jump in. I'm actually on my Pinterest now, and you'll see I have tons of boards here. I have 20. What I'm gonna use for this is called Tailwind. So let's log into Tailwind. So if you don't have a Tailwind account, I'll leave a link below so you can um, start your free trial and get used to how this works and feels and see if it works for you. Let's jump in. Now I am in Pinterest and I have my excuse me, I'm in Tailwind and I have my Pinterest account selected. Notice I also have Instagram um, there. You can use Tailwind to schedule Instagram. I have separate videos on that. I'll leave that series below. But under here, you'll see that I'm down under Publisher. So Publisher is where you're going to handle all of your pins, scheduling, um, publishing, everything that you need to actually get your pins scheduled. Now, before I grab my pins, I do want to show you that you can edit your schedule here. You may want to do this first to make sure you have a schedule set up for when everything is going to get pinned. So in your bottom right hand corner, you'll see add or remove time slots or add or remove. Yeah, time slots. And what I do is I'm just going to leave what's default. What happens is Tailwind picks your best times for scheduling. So that's your smart schedule. And this smart schedule actually tells you when you're gonna get the most engagement, when your audience is online, based on your account that you connected. So when you first sign up, give it a day or so and they'll give you your smart schedule. Now, if you want to add additional time slots, for instance, Tuesday has a lot of time slots and maybe I want to add an additional one on Thursday. The ones with the little, um, I guess, dots around it, those are secondary recommended time slots. Those are also optimized, so you'll want to add those as specific dates and times to, um, excuse me, those as your secondary time slots if you want to add additional time on each day. Now, if you have custom times that you would like to add, you can also add those. Let's go ahead and add one for 5.40.51 p.m. and you'll see those turn up in gray, right? So I'm gonna actually remove this because I'm gonna use the smart schedule, but just know that you can change your schedule. I'm suggesting that you do that first because the process we're getting ready to take is actually gonna schedule your pins. So you wanna make sure your schedule is set up first. Okay. Now, before I forget, in order for this to work, you do have to have the Chrome in extension um, installed. They do have other browsers. I just use Chrome, but it's really important. That's what actually makes this work. So make sure you install, install that first. Now we'll come back and look at these sections and what all this means. Let's go grab some content for our pins. Okay, so I've moved over to Pinterest and you'll see that I have this little Tailwind Publisher um, add-in that I've installed. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to go into Pinterest and search for a term. So I looked for Instagram hashtags. Now you can go even further. It does have auto, um, auto complete. So there might be specific items. So Instagram hashtags for bloggers. Let's actually look at that one. Okay, very specific, specific. So I'm gonna actually click on this button here and you'll see that each of the graphics are showing up with the descriptions. So here's a couple of tips before we start you do want to repin items that have descriptions and that have websites. So see, they have the websites here. This one doesn't really have a description, but we'll take it, right? 
Um, if you don't do that in the next step, I'll explain to you why, um, where it is, but they're going to actually give you an error that you do have to have a website and a description. Remember, everything on the internet is searchable. So you do want to find some of your pins with long descriptions. So, um, they're easily found. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a couple of these, I'm just selecting each one that I want. This one looks really good, right? Six reasons why Instagram hashtags aren't working. Not, so I'm just kind of looking through to make sure. They make sense. Okay, so I've selected 21 um, different images. And I know that because it tells me in the right hand corner that I've selected 21 images. I'm just gonna go to full screen so we can see everything. 21 images, and then each of my images are down here, so I can click them if I want to remove any one that I don't want um, posted. So I'll go to schedule. Okay, now that we're in schedule, it gives us more details and more options. Now. As we go through this, keep in mind that you have to decide which boards that these um, should go on. Now I can do overall boards at the top. So Instagram for business is my board. And, and actually I do have a blogger um, blogging for business board, but I'm not going to put it there because I noticed that some of these just don't apply to that. So I'm going to go through and add individual boards as well. So you'll see 600 hashtags for bloggers. So I might want to add blogging for business there and I can go through and add, excuse me, specific boards for each one of these, right? So as I'm going through, you add each of the boards that make sense. Now, the second thing that you're going to want to do is as you're going through, you're going to want to delete anything that really doesn't um, fit. So this one actually has nothing to do with it. So I'm going to confirm and delete. Now let's look at an individual post and see what's included. So you have your boards under, you have your description. You actually have the chain, the opportunity to change this description. So you may want to add more, but I tend to look for things that have long descriptions. So I don't need to add anything to it. So for instance, this one, I might want to make this a little bit longer. Okay, going back up, this will post it to your Facebook page. Now, if you've posted to your Facebook page, remember it's on the schedule that you set up for your Pinterest. So if you have another app that you're using to schedule your Facebook, make sure it doesn't overlap. And then also anytime you add a Facebook post, you're gonna want to add a description there as well. You have to have a description, even though it says optional, um, the next step will actually give you an error. So um, you can actually add it to Facebook as well as Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and add everything to Twitter, but not to Facebook. I have a specific time schedule for my Facebook items. Now, I'm also part of um, Pinterest tribes with, within Tailwind. Tribes are groups of people that share the same interests and you post your content in the tribe and you also share other people's content in the tribe. So if you like, you can add items to the tribe so they can repost. Um, you wanna be careful there because you can only add so many items to a tribe. Basically, you want to repin people's items within the tribe more than you share items to the tribe. So everyone feels like it's kind of even and there's like a ticker and all of that. I'll do a separate, video on tribes and how to use that. But for now, I'm not going to add anything to, to tribes. Smart loop is evergreen content. Again, I'll create a separate um, training on that. But for now, this is all you have to do. You add them to a board, make sure it has a description and a link to a website, and then you schedule all of them. So I'll go ahead and click on schedule. Now, usually this next screen, it kind of changes. They'll give you suggestions, they'll give you information for your tribe, but why not add additional items? Usually when Tailwind gives you suggestions, it's usually coming from members um, of their community. And 
a lot of these you have to apply to get your pins in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add whichever ones apply. So right now, see it's defaulted to blog. I just want to make sure these are about blogs. Yep, Genius Bloggers. These are Pinterest, so I'm going to remove that. I'm actually not going to do that one. Or actually, I can put it on my Pinterest board. Pinterest for business. And this is about blogging because it draws traffic to your blog. So I'll just go through here and add additional items. And then here, I'll go ahead and add them to my queue. If you like, you can refresh the suggestions and get more suggestions and keep on going. And again, I've just added quickly, I've added five pins, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this and let's go back to my dashboard. Okay, so you'll see that I have um, 13 drafts over here, all right? And then 50 scheduled posts. So when we were on Pinterest, we had the ability or option to save in the top right-hand corner. So we could have saved the posts. And if we saved them for later, they would have been in drafts. Since I scheduled them, they should be, there they go actually, they should be coming through and you'll see scheduled is 78 now. And so it's scheduled my post here. And I did a couple last night, so I'm through December 21st, right? I literally spent like five minutes last night doing this and then um, did a few today as well. Now, so what you're going to want to do is kind of mix it up a bit. Because remember, we did everything in a couple boards, like Instagram hashtags for bloggers. You don't want to pin things about Instagram hashtags for bloggers every day for like seven days. So what you're going to do is come up here and click on Shuffle Queue. What this is going to do is move everything around in a random um, order so you have different pins going to different boards. So for instance, if you did Instagram hashtags for bloggers and then you look for social media posts and you look for Facebook posts, all of those would kind of be mixed in instead of all coming out at the same time. Now, if there are certain ones that you want on specific days or times, you can lock them. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you can lock it. And then when this is on December 4th, if I do another shuffle, that will remain in that time slot on December 4th. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that. All right, this also gives you the opportunity to go through and add additional comments, um, look at the websites, look at all of the details, add it to Facebook. So the first step, you can actually just pin and go. That's all you have to do is pin and go and we would be done. But if you really wanna come in here, maybe add some hashtags, do things like that, you can do that here, okay? Now, that's one way to get a ton of pins started. Now, the next way is something that they added that's new. You can actually pin from your own Instagram account. Now, since I have my Instagram connected here, I can see all of my Instagram posts, right? And I can see how many comments, how many likes, things like that. And you can actually schedule these. Notice you can schedule here. And you can schedule these here in tail. Now this is a little bit more of a slower process, but still gives you the ability to go ahead and schedule items here from your Instagram and pin it to a board. You would select the board that you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually, let's not mess this up. I'll go ahead and schedule to this board. Now, when you're doing that, you'll see which ones are scheduled and which ones are published as you're going along, but it helps give better visuals to your Pinterest and it also brings in your own brand. So you're scheduling from Pinterest, excuse me, from Instagram. Now, the next thing that you can do to grab a bunch of pins and they're all around a specific topic and schedule it is if you go through your own board. So I'm, I'm, I'm under my insights, under board insights, you can see each of the boards that you have and your performance. Now, I just deleted a ton of boards and created new ones, so um, it doesn't have a lot of data here, but it's starting. You can select if you want your secret boards included or just your regular boards and your group boards. Group boards are boards that I am actually a part of with other people or other people have joined my group. 
for instance, this is a group that I'm a part of, I can actually find similar content. And I can take a look at the content here. Notice it says, want your content to appear here for other Tailwind users to pin, apply here. This is what I was saying when I, when I was talking about the fact that they actually go through and make sure it's appropriate content in order for them to suggest it. So I will be going through that process, um, through that process at one point, but for now, I know that this is content that's trustworthy. Now it's suggesting that I add this to my social media and social media marketing boards. I can add additional boards. Now I do have a board about content creation, top content creator secrets. And so I'll add that to a couple of these boards. Okay. Now, after I do that, all I have to do is add them to the queue. And again, I've added a few more items to my pinned boards. So I'll go ahead and close this, but keep in mind that the goal is to really organize different groups of content that you can find later. I really do suggest that you go through these pins and that you look at them and you read them and you really find pinners that you really like and then you can actually go to their Pinterest boards and find their content and repin it. Rather than doing like a full search like I did, just be very succinct. Um, you can look for specific people and then repin their items. But this has just saved me a lot of time. I've pinned items almost through the end of December with just this one video. And so I can, I'm gonna go through and pin things um, for the next couple of months. So that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me in these last couple of minutes. I'll be posting some additional Pinterest tips and tricks, how to create cover boards and evergreen content and organization and analytics and all of that. If you have a specific video you'd like me to do, please let me know below. I am checking out Tailwind right now and using Tailwind, but if you have any other questions about other apps or different things, just let me know. It gives me ideas for other content. Meanwhile, check out these other videos that I have on Pinterest. Have a great day.